Hi, I'm Evan Pantazzi. Uh, it's the holidays again, and uh, every year prior to this, I gave away a uh, either a Christmas knockout idea, um, dressed in regalia and all that. Uh, also, uh, last year, I broke down uh, the Wing Chun uh, form the first few movements to give away as a, uh, a free movie for you to understand things. This year we're going to take it a little different because Kyushu is not just knockouts. That's just a small part of it. What I want to give you to th this year is an understanding of more anatomical, physiological functionality of the body. This is real Kyushu. It's not the fictitious pressure point or the traditional Chinese medical terminology and approach to it. It's using the real anatomy of the body. Now this goes right back into kata. Now we're going to be t talking today about body change. Now body change is alluded to in the, the ancient Bubishi and the body change is uh, many different aspects of body change like you can strengthen your muscles, you can make them more agile, you can uh, develop good uh, stamina and uh, strength and that's all well and good, that's all body change because you're changing the physiological um, setup of, the, of your own body using the katas or martial practices. Now that's all good, alright, but there's a deeper aspect, a much deeper aspect and we can only cover just a small tip of this today. Alright, we're going to take a look at um, two components. First of all, the anatomy, alright, and that's called the muscle spindle cell. Now you've heard me talk about this before, there's a film on it, it of course as well, to, to further get you into this um, physiological uh, and novelty. And what it is, is there's uh, in each muscle, okay, there's um, fibers, okay, and around the fibers there's something called a spindle cell, which is like a coil spring, all right, and what it does is it monitors the stretch of the muscle and sends a message to the brain whether it's overstretching and in danger of being torn, all right, or um, if it's being stretched just mildly to go with it. All right, so what we're doing is we're affecting that when we attack it just correctly, which I'll explain in a second. All right, now in the, um, the, the chest as an example, okay, um, you have muscle fibers that run this way in the pectoral muscle. Now around each of those fibers is that muscle spindle cell. Okay, now when we strike that, we want to go with the, the, the flow of the fiber, but against the muscle spindle cell. Now what that's going to do is when the muscle spindle cell stretches too far, it signals to the brain that the, the muscle fiber is in danger of being torn. So what it does is it sends the message back and it constricts the muscle. All right, that's to protect it. Now, simultaneously, the antagonistic muscles, if we were hitting, say, in the, the chest, the antagonistic muscles of the back and spine would relax and loosen to allow the, the compression of the muscle to protect itself. All right, so when you attack correctly, you're going to cause the muscle tightening, okay, which is a reflexive action. It is not a voluntary action. It's not a motor skill. It goes right into the... Um, uh, subconscious and it goes right into the autonomic system. So it's much more powerful than a uh, regular somatic or muscle motor attack that you would normally do in uh, martial arts and or Kyushu. So uh, what we're doing is we're affecting the subconscious, which again, uh, if you're going for a knockout, what do you want to do? You want to work with the subconscious. You don't want to work with the conscious mind. All right. So how we relate this now to kata and uh, traditional karate, uh, it will also relate to any kind of martial style, whether it's just a self-protection system like a Krav Maga or uh, mixed martial arts, or whether it's a deep kata-based system like karate. All right. We're going to take it out of the karate context, but you could come up with a thousand or one different ways to affect this. This kata called basai. The hands come up and then they come down and around. Now as you come down and around, you're noticing the angle that the fists are turning in. Okay, that mimics that those muscle fibers going against the muscle spindle cell to stretch that on the attack. That will tighten and compress the muscles first of all, bring the, the person's, the, uh, the opponent's hands and body into a more of a fetal type of position as the, the muscles constrict. It also loosens up the back and spine. Now if the muscles on the spine 
are loosened, uh, the antagonistic muscles, it has a tendency to weaken out the, the leg set, the hip structure and all that, and the person subsequently falls to the floor. All right. So now when the hands are coming around and attacking, not only is it mapping out the attack to get to this muscle fiber and this, this muscle spindle cell to affect the subconscious brain and the autonomic uh, nervous system, it's also mimicking the bot with the body what it's going to do. As the attack comes in, the pectoral muscles constrict and the body constricts into a fetal type position. This is not only showing the angle of the attack, okay, it's showing like the muscle spindle cells even if you, you really think deep about it, all right, and it's showing the ramifications on the opponent, all right. So these old katas, they involve not only attack, defense type of scenarios, muscle, body change through um, dynamics such as stamina or muscle strength or conditioning, but also the body change of how to affect your opponent deep with physiological function, not pressure points, you're not reversing chi or turning this chi upside down or whatever, that, that's, that's crazy stuff, all right? That's a man-made theory. We're talking about God-made uh, anatomical structure physiology and functionality and that's real Q show so again just this little snippet for the holidays I hope you gain something out of it I hope you get a deeper understanding of uh, real Q show and I wish you all a Merry Christmas a Happy New Year with health and happiness for you and yours the muscle spindle cells yeah. okay. there's a little bit of a difference